Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. In today's video, we are going to delve into a really intriguing problem called soup serving. So this problem uh, is an excellent opportunity to explore a dynamic uh, programming top-down approach, also known as memoization. So if you are new to this technique or if you are looking to deepen your understanding, you are in the right place. So let's get started. In this problem, we have two types of soup, A and B and we start with n milliliters of each type. And there are four uh, operations. So those are four oper operations uh, of uh, serve different proportion of soup A and B. And we choose uh, an operation at random uh, each turn. So our task is to find the probability that soup A will be emptied first plus half the probability that both soup A and B will become empty at the same uh, time. So uh, the first, uh, let's implement uh, if N is greater than 4,100 and return one. Uh, so it's a clever shortcut. So for uh, large values of N, the probability of soup A being empty at first approaches one, so we can return uh, one directly to serve uh, and optimize computation. So next we dive uh, and divide uh, n by uh, 25 and round them up. So this is because the serving size of soup uh, in our operation are uh, all multiplied uh, of 25 milliliter. So this step effectively reduces the size of the problem without losing accuracy. So let's implement it. So uh, if n greater than return one n plus n divided by 25 without remainder and memo will be uh, dict. So uh, we then uh, define a dictionary member for our uh, memoization strategy and this will hold the uh, computed probabilities for each uh, possible state uh, of remaining amounts of soup A and B, helping us avoid redundant computation. So uh, def dp i j uh, if i j in memo return memo i j so next we define a helper function so dp i j and this function uh, computes and return the desired uh, probability when uh, there are uh, i servings of soup a uh, and j serving of soup b left so uh, let's break uh, so yep uh, and we have a memo that return uh, already computed uh, probabilities if we have computed them. So then if i less than zero and j less than zero, uh, return zero half. And if i less than zero, return one and j less than zero, return zero and memo will be ij ij uh, 025 dp i minus five four j uh, dp i three j minus one plus dp i minus two j minus two dp i minus one j minus three and we return the memo of ij. And finally, we return dp of n and n. So let's break down uh, the line of memo ij025 uh, times and uh, this whole equation. So uh, the right hand side of uh, this assignment represent the expanded value of the probability that soup a will be emptied first given the current state of ij. So this expanded value is calculated as the average uh, of the probabilities 
obtained from each of uh, four uh, operations. So for each uh, operation, we recursively call the P uh, with the new state of soup A and B. After performing the operation, uh, this new state are uh, I minus four J, I minus three uh, J minus one, I minus two, J minus two, and I minus one, J minus three. And the factor of 25, uh, 0, 25, comes uh, from the fact that each operation is chosen with uh, equal uh, probability. So our uh, memo dictionary uh, is a way to store the result of previous computations uh, for the state of the uh, system and the remaining amount of sup A and uh, B. And uh, state uh, is represented by a per uh, i j, where i is the amount of sup A remaining and j is the amount of sup B remaining. So uh, the line uh, memo 0, uh, 25 ij uh, is where the, we calculate the probability of sup uh, A emptied first given the current state uh, considering all four possible operations each operation uh, altered the amount of sub A and B in specific way. So, for example, uh, if we serve 100 milliliter of uh, sub A and uh, 0 milliliter of sub B, so uh, the first operation, uh, so this operation uh, decreased the amount of sub A by four servings since we uh, counting in 25 uh, milliliter servings and uh, leave the amount of soup B uh, unchanged. And in the context uh, of our function, this is represented by dp uh, i minus 4 j and serve 75 milliliter of soup uh, A and 25 milliliter of soup B. So this uh, operation decreased the amount of soup A by three servings and sub B by one servings. And this is represented by uh, DP I minus three, uh, J minus uh, one. So we can yeah, uh, make a marking here. So if you see here, so here we have four. So it's yeah, this link to the first. Here we have the second part, third part, and fifth uh, part. And uh, if you see, for example, for fourth part, it's 25 and 75. So that's why here is three and here is uh, one, so 75. Here we have 50, 50 milliliters, so 50, 50. And 75, 25, so it's 75. 25 and here you have exactly the same so uh, 100 and 0 and because those are serving so minus 4 and minus 0 so uh, just just j okay uh, and same with uh, serving 25 milliliter and servings of 50 milliliters of soup uh, a and uh, b uh, respectively as four uh, statements so each of this uh, dp function call uh, return the probability of sub a emptying first for the new state after performing the correspondent operation and we take the average of these probabilities because uh, each operation is chosen with equal probability and this calculates the probability uh, and is then stored in the memo uh, dictionary with the uh, key as the current state ij and this means that if we encounter this state again we can directly retrieve uh, its result from uh, memo instead of uh, recomputing things and the mine function subserving simply calls dp uh, n n to calculate and return desired uh, probability so uh, basically we have uh, I is uh, how many uh, serving left of food mm, of milliliter of soap uh, A and uh, soup 
uh, B and we uh, run it with an N, so N milliliter of A and N milliliter of B. And there you have it. We can run it for uh, this uh, uh, test case. So yeah, two test cases passed, all good. So uh, yeah, zero, uh, six, two, five, okay. So now we can run it also for unseen test cases uh, to verify uh, everything work. So, yep, let's see. And our implementation in Python, uh, bit 92.92% uh, with respect to runtime and also 79% with respect to uh, memory. So it's uh, quite efficient. And there we have it, the top-down dynamic programming solution to uh, the subserving problem. And this problem, wonderful, uh, and illustrate uh, how memorization can help us avoid redundant uh, computation and solve problem uh, efficiently. So remember, if you are coding in a different language, we got uh, you covered, so check out the description below for the code in other languages. Uh, so uh, we solve it uh, also in uh, C Sharp, uh, JavaScript, uh, Java, and C++. So yeah, uh, C++ implementation is quite uh, fast. So it beat 100%, uh, so really good. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you understand the solution. Uh, and as always, uh, don't hesitate to drop your question in the comment section below and if you found this video helpful uh, give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss uh, out on the upcoming uh, videos uh, and coding tutorials and stay tuned for more interesting coding problems and as always keep practicing stay motivated happy coding and see you next time